American women are owned by the state, they're government property. I just lost a lot of people, a lot of pissed off people out there. But is what I'm saying the truth or is it a lie? Women are government property. You as a man get together with a woman, you have to, you both decide to have children. Say it was a mistake. You didn't decide to have children. Let's be honest. Those kids were actually mistakes. Most most newborns, they're mistakes. They weren't planned, okay? Things just happen. Now you have a child with another woman and you decide that it was a mistake and you want to go your separate way. Why do I say that women are owned by the government? Because the government will step in and say, hey, you're not paying your child support. We're gonna put you in a cage. Me personally, I've never had kids. Women have never been my priority, ever. I just always thought about having fun. I just like having fun. I always I just wanna have fun. It seemed to me like adult life was pretty crappy, boring. Adult life always seemed like crap to me. The adults, the adult men. Take a look at a man who's with a woman. The woman's is happy, the man is miserable. If the man's happy, then most of the time they're both happy. But most men tend to be very miserable human beings. Just to be honest, it's just true. And I saw right through it when I was young, I saw that and I said, nah, I'm out. I was out of high school in 2010. I saw it all. You know, right after high school, I saw men immediately create families. And um, most of I've I've witnessed This is so cliche, but I've heard it and I've read it. A very wise man once said, a smart man learns from his, his errors and his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Now, am I wise? No, because if I was, I'd be living in a mansion. But I was smart enough to see what was going on with those people. And I didn't want it for myself. I saw that men were very unhappy. And in the surface, I knew that they were very unhappy. They just put this happy facade that everything's okay, but we know it's not. So everything about relationships was very unattractive to me. And that's why I stayed away, and I'm glad I stayed away. Because now it's coming out. The truth is, what all these years, what I had known in the back of my head, and what I thought is finally coming out. Men are starting to finally wake up. Finally. People finally wake up when it's already too late. Look. I don't want to come off as some misogynistic. I don't want to come off as a man who hates a woman because in reality, I don't hate women. I'm just bitter. I'm bitter at women because they chose the men that they chose and then they complain afterwards. But go. You can't choose garbage and then complain that all you have is bones and fucking scraps to eat. You chose to eat from the garbage. And here I come. Um, listen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that if you've been to prison or, or if you've been in a jail cell, I'm not saying that you're a terrible human being. Maybe we were just unlucky. But let's be honest, most women choose men who who are convicts or look in my experience I live in the ghetto okay I only knew convicts or 
bad men, those are the type of men that females, they always go after what, see men nowadays have this term, uh, they say Chad or Tyrone or Juan. Women always choose the Chads and the Tyrones and then they complain when they get what they chose. It doesn't work like that. You stay quiet because you know you made the mistake. Live with it. Learn to live with it. I'm just bitter, you know, because we as men, we need women. I'm not going to stand here and do what women say. I don't, I don't need a man. No, we need women. I mean, I don't need women to lick my heavy things. I don't need women to talk to because, you know, but we need women. We just need them. Well, it's not that we need them, but we want them. We want women, okay? That's just who we are. But you can't have them. Like, you can't have them. You're forced to stay. Am I forced or am I willing? Am I willingly doing it? Not, my point being is this, I don't hate women, I'm just bitter against them because the way they are, the way society treats you as a man, as a single man. There was a video I made the other day about how you're a single man, you go to a store and then you have security follow you around because you don't have a woman with you, you're, you're deemed as suspicious. It's the truth. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, American women belonging to the government. I'm personally a poor man. I don't have much. I don't have anything. But for you men out there who have things to lose, who you have uh, savings, you have things to lose, don't let the government come into your life. How do you keep the government away? Follow the MGTOW movement. Don't get married. Focus on you. See, this is a mess, mostly a message to young men. Because I wish I had somebody to tell me. You know, I wasted my youth in uh, video games and things like that. Those are, they, they make you happy. Video games, it's short term, but in the long run, when you get older, you realize, wow, I wasted so much time on video games. When I could have used that time on something else, a little more productive. So, um, this is a message to young men. Women are owned by the government. Focus on yourself. And um, just like Scarface said, once you get the money, you get the power. Once you get the power, you get the women. You go somewhere else, away from America. Love you all. Have a wonderful day.